Hi everyone, welcome to another video from Zero Mooking Collectibles and as always, this is your friendly neighborhood collector, Som. And today, we're gonna review McFarlane's MK12 Spawn with custom chains and the Max Bird custom cape. Let's go! things first the cape is absolutely on there as you can see it's tightly secured you have two options on how to get this brute force or by heating it up and letting the glue melt and then pulling it out I recommend the latter so I will be heating this up right now hmm and yeah, we do have the cape off now. This is how it looks like without the cape, obviously. It's glued there pretty tight. You see the pegs, some sort of pegs for the cape. This is the cape <laughs> of Spawn. So this is how it's secured it's in three points, on the shoulders, and at the back. Kinda ripped mine off because I wasn't patient but yeah I still use a heat gun I do recommend you using some kind of heat before you rip this off because you can use this on another figure right hmm so yeah so I'll be putting the max bird cape on this and let's start the review you yeah. and with the power of everything here is spawn and the max bird cape looking badass yeah it did take quite some work the tape that came with the cape did not work because it was um, how do you say this dried up so I used some um, super glue to anchor them on the same points if you can see over here here in the buttons and back in the side so but enough of that let's get into the cape the cape as you can see is badass it's quite it's big, it's wide, but what it lacks in length. You see, it's just hmm, same height as he is, up to his legs. It makes up for the width. You see that? It's badass, right? Very, very nice. Yep, um, sometimes the uh, wires are gonna stick out, as you can see, but it's just just push them back in <laughs> it's a custom uh, manufactured mass manufactured cape so there's gonna be QC issues but yeah so first impressions the cape is a bit short it's wide let's see if it can pose good well yeah you can see there yeah can it hold its own weight you can you can yeah the, the color is very stiff you see there's the wires are here 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 i count six wires one two three four five six wires the cape and then there's three over here for the collar very nice touch for the collar I like this can look like Captain Harlock you can put it like this if it's not really a, you wanna just have him relaxed right there but yeah so I'm gonna try to pose them off camera and then I'm gonna put him on the rotating table. next and hey yeah looking into articulation with the cape on spawn can look up up this much look down down this much look to his left look to his right and turn all the way around no problem arm movement up to here on the side up to here bicep swivel yep ouch watch for those thorns um, elbow movement, double, double elbow, and wrist, 
can turn all the way. Same with here, but it's gonna snag here, so it's gonna be difficult. It has a swivel here for those up and down for that gun holding poses. Let's put them back down. Upper torso cut over here. You can move down, you can move up, you can crunch mm, this much, look up that much, side to side. You can move like that, move this left, waist cut. Yep, move left, move right for the leg articulation. Right leg can move up this much. Double knee. It doesn't really go all the way because of the design. Move back like this and move to the side. Nice for the left leg. Move up. Double knee. Because of the design, it can move further. If you can see that. Then you can move up to here, outside. Then for the ankle movement, for the left leg, move up this much, down this much, swivel around, <laughs> swivel around, yes, and toe cut. Nice. Then um, for the other foot, it doesn't really go up because of the design, but it can go down, as you can see. And then there's also a toe pivot. Toe pivot! Nice, so yeah. The cape does not hinder the movement. So nice. Because it's cloth. All right. And oh yeah, yeah, I totally forgot about the chain. The cape came with the chain. Actually, the chain has uh, wiring in them. So it's a bit poseable if you can see. You can pose it like this, straighten it out, but it limps. But yeah, you can pose it somewhat. If you can change the wiring inside, it'd be very good. But yeah, it can can hold its own uh, weight in some poses to some degree. 
when it's spiraling like this attacking spawns enemies binding them yeah it's fairly long it's about two and a half rulers long so that's 24 plus 6 that's 30 inches maybe or 24 inches yeah very nice metal chain it came with the cape so yep so yeah i've been uh, having so much fun with the cape i've been posing him for about an hour now i almost forgot about the review but yeah it does come with this uh, metal chain in front um sculpted skulls and the fabric used it's nice it the tatters on the end nice touch right it's very good so there's six wires in this you can pose them where whatever you like you can have them swept back if you have that one that clean look yeah right so the color especially is very nice you, you can mold it to any any shape you can have it relaxed you can have it flaring up like this if, if you want him <laughs> taunting an enemy yeah it can swallow swallow um spawn if he's freezing see yeah if you want that uh batman-esque cover something like that right yeah so my final thoughts on uh the cape the stitching is uh, a little bit big you can see the stitches uh yep um and i would like if i um stronger stronger wires maybe because for those jumping poses you want them to be like this right so it doesn't really hold maybe you can jam it up there you can cheat it no it doesn't really hold for poses like this maybe you need a better better wiring for that or you have the wiring up to here so it has an anchoring point so it can move or hold its weight because it's anchored but yeah it's more than adequate for general posing purposes right yeah you can yes you can yeah. oh, wires taken out you just push them back on gripe wires do keep on coming out because they are not secured properly inside the cape but no problem you just need to push them back and voila you have your wires inside your cape again but i just wish they were uh, fixed in there with some adhesive so you don't have to do that so that's one gripe again but overall this cape is badass it, it's white I wish it was a bit longer so for those jumping poses right so you can have them you can have them swooping but yes see even at the back side look at that the crinkles the plates and it has this kind of hoodie kind of thing adds to the adds to the uh, beauty of the cape because if you took took that apart don't have this it'd be just plain here and you would see the sticking out wires oh <laughs> yeah very good mac from max bird thank you for adding this yeah so would i recommend you buying this cape absolutely if you come across it cheap i think it's being sold out there third party um, more expensive than Max Bird, but Max Bird is overseas, so there's gonna be shipping. So check out their site first, and if you have a local supplier that has this, go to your local supplier. It's gonna be cheaper because there's gonna be no shipping. So yeah, buy your pass for the cape. Definitely buy. You can put this in your other on your other figures too if you want that you can put it on deadpool yeah so yeah that's my final thoughts so yeah
please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Keep safe. And peace. Web swing. Web swing. <laughs> Spidey spawn. Yeah. In blue.